Hey everybody, welcome to another episode of All Access. Squash is an individual sport, guys, so you spend your uh, seasons competing against the best players in the world. Uh, it's basically uh, you against the world uh, type of sport. Uh, but uh, every two years we have the World Open Team Championships, which you present your country in. Uh, for me, I really love those moments and I cherish those tournaments because you get a chance as an athlete to represent your country with your teammates and go up against the best uh, players in your sport from other countries and they're the best in the world, so uh, I've been fortunate enough to represent my country seven times in the World Open Team Championships and have uh, won it twice with Egypt uh, back in 1999 and 2009 and yeah, it was a great experience to uh, be on the team with amazing squash players and uh, managed to win the World Teams event, so uh, it's great, that's what's great about sports, that uh, you can represent your countries and uh, join in with uh, your teammates and uh, really give it your best to try and win a medal or a cup for your country. For me, there's uh, quite a bit of difference between playing an individual sport and a team sport, uh, mainly uh, the winning and losing part. Uh, when you're playing a team sport and you win, uh, the win is magnet magnified by the amount of uh, or number of players in the, in the team. So for example, if you're playing football, all the players and the coaching staff and the fans, and it's just one huge, uh, one huge swell of emotions. Uh, in individual sports, it's much different. Uh, you have your coaching staff, which is a much more smaller coaching staff than say a basketball team or a, or a football team, uh, and it's only you. So I think to start with, when you do win, it's a very inert feeling. Uh, it's something you feel inside and uh, you carry it by yourself. And uh, once you uh, shake uh, your opponent and you go outside the, the court and the sports arena, you get this kind of relief that you managed to win the tournament and it's, it's a very inert uh, personal feeling. Of course, your family is happy for you, your coaching staff and your friends, but uh, it's really inside the feeling. Um, when you talk about uh, a loss, on the other hand, when you're in a team sport, I imagine uh, you all carry the weight of the loss and uh, you kind of uh, sh share that emotion as well. So really it's divided by the amount of players. I, I understand that each player by himself as an athlete is upset, but at least you're all in it together. Where in an individual sport, uh, you carry the loss by yourself. Uh, that feeling is, uh, is much different in weight than the winning part. Uh, I really felt that winning is a very, uh, a very uh, inert uh, and uh, rapidly gone emotion sort of thing. But a loss you can carry for days and weeks and weeks, so uh, it's much more intense. And uh, that's the difference, I think, between an individual sport and, an, uh, and a team sport. Usually in individual sports, uh, your uh, your attitude and your persona, you tend to carry it uh, in real life. Where then if you are in a team sport, you can still be an individual person and uh, still have uh, that privacy. But uh, I think uh, it doesn't necessarily carry through to your personality outside your profession. Where I feel in an individual sport, uh, they tend to we tend to carry it onto our normal lives. But uh, for example, for me. I consider myself a team player more than an individual player. I love playing uh, teams events, so uh, there's no really uh, no rule for it. My advice would be to people who are uh, who are uh, trying to find out whether uh, to play an individual sport or a team sport is to play both sports to start with. You want to uh, experience and acquire the the experience of playing all different types of sports, whether it's individual or teams, because you learn uh, so much from from every sport you play and the skills that uh, are required for it. So uh, me growing up, I played all different types of sports. I played football, I played badminton, I played squash, I played ping pong, I played uh, a bit of basketball with my friends just as a, as a young kid growing up. So uh, 
And I learned so much from each sport. Uh, the experience is added to your personality and definitely will be uh, an addition to you, to you and could even be a strength that you have when you're uh, a bit older and, uh, and uh, start specializing in one, one activity or one profession or, or a sport. Thanks guys for watching another episode of All Access. See you guys next time.